Hey, this is Susan Velez from SusanVelez.com and welcome to my YouTube channel where every Wednesday I create some type of tutorial video, something that's going to make the techie side of blogging easy. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, I highly recommend that you do so that you'll get my next videos when they come out. So in today's tutorial, what I wanted to do was I actually wanted to run you through the process of creating a Pinterest account. Uh, what we're going to do is I actually created a business Pinterest account and this is just a demo site uh, Pinterest account that I'm not going to be using for anything other than showing you the ins and outs of Pinterest and getting started with Pinterest. As you know, I've actually been using Pinterest to grow my site and it's actually now become one of my biggest tra traffic referrals. Now if you also realize a lot of bloggers use Pinterest to drive tons of traffic to their site. Now, I don't want to rely 100% on Pinterest because I don't want all my traffic coming from one source, but if Pinterest can help you drive some traffic to your site, there's no reason that you shouldn't use it, and I'm going to show you how to get started with it. So I've actually been using Pinterest for a while now, and but I haven't been focused 100% on it. I've actually been trying to learn Facebook, Twitter, and um, all those social media sites while trying to learn Pinterest. However, in August, I've actually decided to stop all the other social media sites, not completely, but put more effort and, and time into learning how to use Pinterest. And just in spending the last 30 days on it while taking a two week vacation, I've actually been able to make Pinterest my biggest traffic referral now. So, I am t totally in love with Pinterest and it's really easy to use and very fun to learn. So I wanted to walk you through the process of how you would create a site or how you would go ahead and get your WordPress site verified with uh, Yoast SEO. So if you haven't created your account, go ahead and create an account. And as you can see, I actually just used a demo Gmail account. Doesn't I don't even use this account for anything other than these video tutorials. And like I said, this is just a dummy uh, Pinterest account. I'm not going to be using it for anything other than just this video tutorial. And I may end up uh, deleting it after I am done. So what we want to do is we actually want to go ahead and get this verified. Hold on just a bit. All right, so I'm back. So. If, if you um, first signed up for your account, what you're going to do is you're actually going to be logged in when you first create your account. Then you'll notice that you actually end up on your Pinterest homepage. Now, hold on a minute. So what we want to do is, I'm actually not inside, hold on, all these things. All right, so you can see that it says right now, if you want to see more, you have to confirm your website. So in order to see the analytics on your actual Pinterest account, you'll need to confirm your analytics. Now I'm in a different page that what you'll see when you first log in, you're gonna be at the main screen of your Pinterest account. But what you wanna do is we want to confirm our actual website. So in order to do that, just come over here or you could click this button, but you probably won't see the screen right away. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to settings and we are actually going to confirm our website. So for this tutorial, I'm actually going to be using just this domain that I have that, that it's not used for anything else other than these types of tutorials. So you'll notice that right here, if you scroll all the way down and profile, you're going to come down to website. Now, if this is your actual Pinterest account, of course, you'll want to give it a proper name and you'll want to change your image and give it a uh, image of yourself. And then you'd want to go ahead and provide an about you location, fill out this information. That way people, when people land on your Pinterest account, they can read about you and see your pearly whites. So let's go ahead and get started. So once you enter your, H your domain right here, what you wanna do is you're gonna hit confirm website. Now, as soon as you hit that, you're gonna notice that this, it says copy and paste this tag to the H, to the head section of your website's index HTML file. Now, they may, this may sound a little weird to you, but you're going to need to do this because in order to start using your analytics on your Pinterest, you're going to need to make sure that your domain is verified. 
It says uh, having trouble, if you have trouble with WordPress or you're not using the plugin that I recommend, then you could download this file and upload it to your FTP service. Um, F file uh, Upload it to your server via your FTP. But we're actually going, I'm going to show you how simple this is with this plugin. So uh, we're going to highlight this code and then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here inside of my uh, domain which is lovemyvacuum.com which is the domain that I'm using just for this purpose and what we want to do is we're, if you do not if you're not using this uh, the Yoast SEO plugin right now then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and add a new one you're going to add a new plugin and we're just going to come over here and we're just going to type in Yoast SEO and you'll notice that it is one of the first plugins to populate right here but as you can see, it's already active and installed on my site. If it wasn't, then it would have this little button that says install now. would go ahead, install it, and activate it. But for this purpose of this tutorial, I've already got it installed on my, on my site. So we're going to just come over here where it says SEO, and this is the actual SEO plugin. And then what we want to do is we actually want to do one thing really quick. We're going to come over here to uh, Features. And right here where it says advanced settings pages um, you will notice that it is disabled right now so we're going to go ahead and click enabled and then what we're going to do is scroll down here and we're going to click save changes once that saves your changes you'll notice all these tabs open up on this uh on the sidebar right here so when we first came when they weren't opened up if you'll notice there was only three i believe that were opened um, social was not available, but you're going to need to make sure that you enable it because we want to access this social tab. So once you access the social tab, we're going to click on social and you'll notice that all these uh, social networks come up. The one we're looking for right here is we are looking for our Pinterest. So we're going to come over here and we're going to click on Pinterest and you'll notice that um, it says Pinterest confirmation says to confirm your site at the meta tag here. So all we're going to do is we're just going to paste that right there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to verify, or I'm sorry, save changes. And once you save the changes, then you'll notice that our Pinterest confirmation did save. And you do not have to worry about anything. Just paste the entire link in there. And then once you actually do that and save the changes, we should be able to just come back here and we're just going to click on finish and once that's finished it says we're still working on confirming your site please sit tight sometimes it takes up to an hour so it could take a little while for this to take effect but if for some reason after you wait a, a few hours or you know 20 30 minutes and it's still not working then maybe you just need to redo it, do it. And if it's still not working, then I highly recommend that you use the other route, which is to drop that um, HTML file into your website using your FTP server. That is another way to do it. It's not hard, but usually 99% of the times, if you're using SE Yoast SEO and you copied and paste that correctly, it will work. You might just have to sit tight and make sure that it, you give it some time to work. So hopefully this uh, tutorial showed you how easy it is to verify your WordPress site using the Yoast SEO plugin. If you have any questions or comments about how I use Pinterest, or if you need any help with this, leave the comments and the uh, leave your questions in the comments below, and I'll help you out as best as I can. Like I said, um, oh, there is one more thing that we need to do. Uh, when you first sign up with uh, Pinterest, you're going to see right here it says, please confirm your account. I actually just signed up with Pinterest right before this video. So you want to make sure that you do confirm your email because that may delay your verification as well too. So once you confirm this email, then your Pinterest account should be verified. So anyway, I hope that was uh, helpful to you. If, like I said, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will help you out as best as I can. I look forward to seeing you on Pinterest uh, and helping you grow your website using Pinterest. I really like it and I'm, I'm sure that you will too. I'll talk to you later and stop by my blog at susanvelez.com and sign up for my WordPress course, my free WordPress course, and I will talk to you later. Have a great one.